Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Also consider liking this video. Check out my Amazon affiliate link down below as it helps out the channel at no cost to you. Also take a look at my Instagram linked down below. And if you guys are looking for any BMW parts, whether it be OE, OEM, Genuine, check out the link down below for ECS tuning as I also get a small kickback for that. That goes back into the channel and funds these cool projects that I do. So getting on with the video, this video is all about five things all BMW owners need to know, whether it's your first BMW, your third BMW, or you bought BMWs your whole life. These are five things that you need to know about owning a BMW. All right, so I do have the five things on my phone. So if you guys see me looking down at my phone, that is why, because I did write these out to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we're gonna start with number one and work our way up. So number one, the first thing you must know about owning a BMW is the maintenance that is involved in owning these cars. These are sophisticated cars. There's a lot of engineering that goes into them. They're not Toyotas or Hondas. They're not just gonna run for 100,000 miles. You need to do maintenance on these cars. And when I say maintenance, I don't say, oh, oil change. I say follow the service guides that are available. So there's service one and two specifically for my car, and that includes um, just spark plugs, it includes cabin air filters, air filters, um, oil changes. P people think BMWs have lifetime transmission fluid. That is wrong. They need to be changed at 100,000 miles. And these sort of things are all what I would consider maintenance items. Doing preventative maintenance before things break. People wait for their fuel pump to go bad and then they're left stranded. If you just replaced your fuel pump when it needed to be replaced, it's all set. And people are like, oh, well, why do you have to wait for it to be, why do you have to replace it before? It's just the way it is with the BMW world. And unfortunately, there are some sites that have warranty options so you don't have to buy parts more than once. So you can, like, I need to do my fuel filter. That fuel filter on the E46 needs to be replaced every 20,000 miles, regardless if it's good or bad. I definitely re recommend doing these things early. The other thing I wanna say about maintenance is maintenance over mods. Guys, you have to be doing the maintenance before you wanna do all these mods to your car, especially these turbo BMWs. Make sure that everything is up to date. Make sure that your vacuum lines are good, especially with turbo cars if you're trying to run more power. Make sure that you're changing your oil. Make sure that your coolant is good. Make sure it's the blue coolant. A lot of people put the wrong coolant in these cars. Definitely, a lot of people miss doing brake fluid. The brake fluid in these cars doesn't last that long and it turns nasty. So definitely replace that. It's cheap to replace, it's easy to replace. All you need is two people, one person down at the bottom, the other person pumps the brake. So definitely stuff like that. Now, the last thing I wanna say, and I mentioned this at the beginning of my video, if you guys are looking for OE, OEM, or genuine BMW parts, I have a link to ECS in my description and that's an affiliate link. ECS is great. You can buy all genuine OE, and OEM parts. And basically you don't have to buy Chinese parts. I do not recommend buying any Chinese parts for these cars because what's gonna happen is it might work fine in the beginning, but it's gonna start to crap the bed and then you're gonna need to replace it again. Or you're just, it's not gonna fix the issue that you had in the beginning. You're still gonna get that check engine light. Something's still not gonna work. The computer's still gonna say, hey, this is the wrong part because it is, it's a cheap Chinese knockoff. Buy OE genuine or OEM parts for your car. The second thing I want to piece of advice I want to talk about with owning these cars are buying parts of these cars. Yes, the parts can be a little more expensive than typical cars. However, the labor is really is what's going to kill you on these cars, especially if you're a young teenager or in your early 20s and you want to afford one of these cars. If you want to afford one of these cars, you need to be willing to turn and wrench yourself and do the work yourself. A lot of this work isn't much more difficult than an average car, or sometimes it's even easier. You have to be willing to learn and turn a wrench. And like I said, I mentioned ECS, buy all your parts there and you can change them all yourself. For the most part, you don't need a lift. Um, you just need a jack and jack stands. You can tack a lot of these jobs. So that is number two. But in the event for number three, in the event that you can't replace a part and you really need to bring it to a shop or a dealer, I do not recommend bringing it to the dealer. I recommend you find a independent BMW mechanic. Don't bring it to your mechanic that you have in your local town. Find a BMW independent mechanic. They have all the software and chances are they can do it at a fraction cost of the dealer using the same exact parts that the dealer would do. Now, in my area, um, I live in Massachusetts and some of the best places around Boston, if you guys are looking for them, is Wild Motorsports down in Walpole and Eurotech Motorsports out in Natick. Those are some of the best shops or independent shops to have your European cars worked on. I know Eurotech does, um, doesn't just do BMWs, but I know Wild is specifically BMWs. Moving on to number four. If you are looking to repair these cars yourself and work on them and fix them, like I mentioned, you really should be doing if you want to afford one of these cars, you need to have a scan tool. A scan tool is 
crucial for diagnosing any of the problems with these cars. These cars are super sophisticated. They have many, many modules that are all connected together via a bus system and your average generic P scanner that you have from your auto parts store will not be able to help diagnose these cars. It will literally just confuse you more because it's gonna give such a generic code and it can mean a hundred different things. And sometimes those things that it means, let's say it says like misfire, um, that misfire might not actually be related to a spark plug or a ignition coil at all. So you definitely need to get a BMW scan tool. Now, what I really like to use, my favorite is using IMPA and that comes with NCS experts. You can also code it. It's very cheap. I'll link videos up in the cards and down the description because I have videos on how to set that up. The cable's like 20 bucks. The software is free. The next thing I really recommend and I have it on me at all times is Carly. Carly BMW is an absolute godsend and it makes scanning the car super easy. So here's a look at Carly. You plug it into the car. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi depending on if you have an Android or Apple device, super easy, allows you to code and diagnose on the go, all from your phone. Highly recommend this. I'll also have a link to this too. I leave this in my car as when I'm out and about and if I get a code or anything pops up, I can scan my car with this. Now, the last piece of software that I can recommend, especially with the newer BMWs, it's harder to get. I cannot make a video on how to get it, but it's out there is ISTA. ISTA is the BMW dealer software that they use to diagnose and fix these cars. You, they repair something, they run a test plan on it. After they repair it, make sure it's good. It can code the car, can diagnose the car. It can do so much. It can carry out so many functional jobs. It is literally the most crucial piece of software that you could probably buy for any BMW. And it's what they use at the dealer. So if you can learn how to use it, it's pretty intuitive. You will save yourself a boatload of money. Leading me to my last point in number five, the most important thing for any BMW owner to do, and that is to enjoy your car. Guys, driving it every day on the main road, you probably don't realize the capabilities of these cars. Take it to a nice windy back road and enjoy the car. That's what these cars are meant for. Push it to its limits and enjoy it. And you'll realize how sophisticated the engineering needs to be on these cars. The engineering behind these cars is crazy. There's not, they call these cars the ultimate driving machine for a reason, and they truly are. Enjoy it, drive it, push it to its limits, but make sure you do the maintenance on it and it will continue to put a smile on your face day after day. So that is all I have for today's video. These are the five most important things any BMW driver needs to know when, whether you own a BMW, you're looking for a BMW or you just like BMWs and you wanna learn more about them. These are the most important things you can do. If you guys have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Check out all the links in my description as they help me out. And if you guys have any questions, just wanna start up more of a conversation, message me on Instagram. My Instagram will be down below and on the screen right here. So that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.